Hey guys, it's Adrian from HowToTwitterBusiness.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Echophone, or Echophone, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I like to say Echophone, Echophone for the iPhone, uh, or for Twitter, I should say, on the iPhone, on iOS. Now, it is free, the free version. Now, you can pay to remove ads, so there is an in-app purchase. You can see here there is an ad, which I'll talk a little bit about later on. Um, but let's just go through the application itself first. So at the very bottom here, you have Home, the Home tab, which shows all your tweets, the timeline of tweets. Uh, you can see here, uh, you can pull down to refresh or search the timeline. Your app mentions are right here, so you can see all the app mentions below. Uh, and if you can see there, if somebody attaches a picture or something, you see that as well. Your messages, I'm just going to skip over that just for in terms of privacy. Lists, lists show all your lists via Twitter, so if you're following lists, like you can see here, or if you just have created lists, you can uh, go through certain lists. So, for example, I have one for gaming. I can see just the people who practice specific gaming uh, tweets. I have also, lastly, search. Search allows you just to search. You can do nearby tweets if you set that up. You can see what's trending, etc., etc. And you can also jump between users if you want to see just uh, searching through your users here. All right, so uh, personal favorite about this one, about Echofon, uh, is really just the uh, way it handles uh, not only lists. I like how it handles lists because it, you can break it down between followers and lists. Uh, something that the other ones don't really handle well, lists and or the search functionality, which is also really nice to handle that really nice. It's, it's very reminiscent of that of the Contacts app or something like that. They also have nearby tweets, which some in some apps support, some apps don't. Uh, overall, those are my favorite. I would say the list and search functionality that they implement in here. Also, just the interface. It's really simple, straightforward. Uh, you know, reply, retweet, more simple buttons. Um, and it's, it's just really that, you know, that easy to use. All right, so um, rating it from one to ten, and my usage of it, just doing through the key features and, and all that, and, and how it goes by, you know, as a Twitter or daily day, you know, day to day use Twitter application, because I mainly use the main Twitter apps. Um, it scores to me as a a six out of ten. Now this one, again, it, it's not like the other ones. It's not it's not too simplified. It has a, a lot going for it. Uh, there is ads. You can click on menu here, and you can see you can jump to tweets, favorites, etc. You have to remove. You have to pay to remove ads. So that's like the way they make money. They also have settings for, uh, you know, tweeting and all that. It doesn't support multiple profiles, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, okay, there you go. So it does support multiple profiles. Uh, I just had to check there. Uh, so it does support multiple profiles, but uh, again, compared to the other ones like TweetDeck and. Um, what do you call that? A Hootsuite. What this one doesn't do, it only supports Twitter accounts, I believe. So let me triple check here. Yeah, so it only supports Twitter accounts. Um, so you're not going to be able to add like Facebook accounts and all that, which the other apps did support. So that's something they had going for it compared to this one. Again, it's it just has that extra step of you having to remove the ads using a free application. I understand that that's how the developers make money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But again, just you know, stacking it up to the other apps I looked at. Uh, like I said, like the main Twitter app, like Hootsuite, like TweetDeck, etc. Um, but overall, it's still, you know, a good, easy-to-use app, a nice, plain interface, and a lot of people, you know, like it. It's simple to use, and it's, you know, easy to write tweets, as you can see here. They also have some functionality for sending uh, photos or geolocating. Uh, it doesn't have as much functionality in terms of tweeting as the other ones do, like shortening links and all of that, which is another thing it's lacking. But other than that, overall, it's still a free application, and... You can check it out in the app store. Again, Echofon for Twitter on the iPhone. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to head over to howtotwitterbusiness.com uh, before I forget. Subscribe to the channel, of course. And uh, you know, if you want to achieve higher ROI on Twitter and you know, in social media in general, head over again to howtotwitterbusiness.com. Thanks again.